Hello, this is your Congressman Michael Burgess. Last week, it was revealed that after a long investigation, the Justice Department has decided not to prosecute any of the Internal Revenue Service employees responsible for illegally investigating political groups. This destroys whatever little credibility that the Justice Department and Attorney General Eric Holder had left. Do they really expect people to believe that they found no illegal activities in their investigation? All of the actions targeting individuals on, based on political beliefs were in fact illegal. To claim that no one acted criminally could easily be dismissed if this wasn't such a serious breach of our constitutional rights. The Internal Revenue Service has claimed that their actions were not politically motivated, but were the work of a few rogue agents. However, last year the Ways and Means Committee discovered emails between Lois Lerner and her staff to prove the falsity of these claims. February 2011, Ms. Lerner stated in an email she advised her staff that a tea part, the Tea Party matter is, quote, very dangerous, close quote, and is something that counsel, quote, needs to be in on, close quote. Ms. Lerner also added, quote, Cincinnati probably should not have these cases, close quote. These demonstrate that this was a coordinated effort by the Internal Revenue Service to persecute Americans for their political beliefs. The IRS is a system that depends on a measure of voluntary compliance. It relies on individual citizens to report their income and calculate their taxes correctly and file a tax return on time. Until we get answers, the public's confidence will be forever shaken. Going forward, Americans can reasonably ask two questions. One, Internal Revenue Service, prove to me that you haven't unfairly audited me. And number two, why should I voluntarily file my taxes if the Internal Revenue Service is not going to treat me fairly? These fundamental questions need to be answered. While the other debates we are having in Congress are of vital importance, it's unacceptable if we let those sidetrack us from finding out what happened at the IRS and making certain that those responsible are held fully accountable. Thank you for taking the time to listen. For more information about legislation before the United States Congress, please visit my website at burgess.house.gov. May God bless you and your family, and as always, may God bless Texas.